Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and welcome to another episode of Proxmox Server plus Samsung DeX. As I mentioned in my previous episode, today we will set up the game server on our Proxmox server and we will play this game from a Samsung DeX. And the game is basically a Minecraft. Minecraft Pocket Edition that you can go and download from Google Play Store. I will show you how to set up the very fast and very easy to set up server on your Proxmox server that you will be able to connect to the server within your home network. Let's say you have a bunch of friends with you and you just want to play this Minecraft game on the phone or DeX or tablet as long as it's a Minecraft Pocket Edition on Android, you, you all be able to connect to this one server. Anyway, let's begin. First thing, obviously you need to go and connect to your Proxmox server. This is my Proxmox server by the name of Galaxy Clone the VM. Uh, this is a template of a VM I created before. I think it was episode two or three. I can't remember. I'll find the link and I'll leave it in the description below for you to go and check it out. So I'm just going to right click on this and choose clone. And I'm going to say ID will be 209 and this is going to be called DexCraft. Let's say full and choose clone. So right now I'm cloning the VM or making a VM from the template and it's going to be already dead, already done. Great. I'm going to say start now. And the VM starting, I'm just going to wait for DiaPi VM to start for me to check what kind of IP address it gets assigned because I'm going to do all the terminal commands via Termux instead of going via this uh, console inside the Proxmox because uh, 45. Uh, I've just checked what IP address it is because if I press backspace, it actually takes back instead of doing a deleting backspace deletion instead of, uh, well, just takes it back, sorry. Right, let's go and connect SSH root. Uh, it was, that was 45, isn't it? So 45, yep, fingerprint exists. And I'm going to say, yeah, that's fine. So I'm logged in because the template was created a while back. I'm not sure how out of date that is. So I'm just going to quickly run the update and upgrade uh, command, commands, sorry, um, just to get this virtual machine or DiPi OS VM up to date. And that's already did. Next thing what I like to do with VMs, go into DiPi dash config file, config or options and under security, choose host name and choose a different host name. So in my case, it's going to be Dexcraft. And once that then I'm just going to reboot this. And while it's rebooting, uh, let's quickly punch the pin number and say and check when the VM is started. It should start in a second because A, it's a very small VM. B, it's no, it's no GUI, nothing, it's just a terminal. And C, my Proxmox server, every single hard drive right now I have my Proxmox server, they are all SSDs. So uh, server is absolutely flying. Anyway, we are back into uh, DiaPi OS. Let's go into the website which is called doc.pmmp.io basically to get here if you google for pocketmine.net that's the page will open up and if you click on this uh, you end up on this page the same page that I, i'm sorry and you click on this link i'll leave the link to exactly this page in the description below but anyway we need to go and copy this line this command go back into a termux left click and hold press paste and at the end, space dash R. Dash R means that I want this command to run in root and press enter and a command will run in root and will then load the script to set everything up. So this is going to be done now. Uh, let's clear the screen and check the content and contrib uh, contributing license, etc., etc. readme bin. And this is the important fi file, which is called start.sh. To run this file, you just type dot slash start and just press tab or two autocomplete. Press enter and I get the uh, options, which language I want to pick. I'm going to say ENG for English. Uh, do you accept with the license? Yes, I do. Do you want to skip the wizard, the that wizard that we're using now? I'm going to say no. Uh, server name, DexCraft, obviously. Enter. Am I happy with the port number 19132 for IPv4? Yes. And IPv6 port will be 19133. I'm fine with that. Choose the creative or survival mode. Default mode is zero, which is survival. Yes, fine. How many players you want? 20. Uh, 20 is fine. Maximum viewing distance chunks 16. That's fine. And OP player, basically admin of the server. I have an account inside the pocket edition of Minecraft and that uh, account name is Pascalis. So I'm just going to use that. Do you want a whitelist? I'm going to say no. And do you want a query? No. 
And now I'm going to say, okay, so you set this up. Uh, this is your external IP address and this is your internal IP address. Are you happy with this? I'm going to say, yes, I'm happy. And right now script is carry on setting everything up and then loading the most up-to-date version of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which is 1.18.30. So that's happening. And as soon as I see here 100, this means the server is running. And what IP address that was? I think it was 45. We're going to find out now. Let's go into Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. You can download for free from Google Play Store. If I click play and the servers, if I go down, I was messing around here a bit previously. So I'm just going to quickly delete this. And 42 becomes 45. It was server I messed up a bit just before recording it. Uh, so Dexcraft IP address of my local IP address of that server VM or VM on that server on the Proxmox server. Save it, join. And I'm joining this Minecraft server, which is running on my Proxmox server. And here we go. This is, uh, I spawned in a not bad place. Let's quickly run here, see what's what. Uh, full mouse and keyboard inputs working great. E from entry, everything works fine. No problems. Let's, let's dig, dig some sand. Let's go chop the tree up the hill. Come on. Up, 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 up. Oi, oi, come on. Can I go up? Here we go. Here we go. Let's get some wood. That's it. And I'm playing Minecraft on the server that has been hosted on my Proxmox server. I am trying to figure out how to get this running via tail scale. And the reason for that, that means that I don't need to worry about giving everyone my public IP address. That's all I need. If anyone wants to join my server via tail scale, that's all I need to do is give them invite to join this tail scale network where the server is located. I'm still working this out. As soon as I found out, as soon as I find a way to make that work, I'll leave a pinned comment on this video. Um, just to letting everyone know if you want to join and just mess around in this server just a bit because I want to test it out how far I can push this. Uh, it's just going to be more like a DEX community Minecraft server kind of thing, which is I don't think is going to last long. I just want to see how much, how many players this server can handle on my Proxmox server. So I'm just going to set up, like I said, tail scale. And uh, like I said, I will leave a pinned comment in the description below. Uh, the first comment Pin, the first pin comment for me is basically I will give you an update on this progress on the tail scale and I'll make a probably a post inside the Samsung Dex library group for everyone to know that if anyone plays a Minecraft, owns a Dex, plays a Minecraft and has a tail scale account set up, which is by the way super easy to set up. That's all you need is to do go into tail scale, oh Apple, into a tailscale.com and just create an account. Once you have an account, just send me the ID number of the email. Basically, I'm telling you what to do, but first, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let me get this all working with a tail scan and I'll let you know, but let's back to the, let's go back to this video. This is the Minecraft server. So if I'm going to say this and quit, let's go, let's go leave this game. Um, enter. And as you can see inside the server says, Pascal has joined the game and Pascal has left the game and I played for three minutes or so. To stop the server, I just need to write stop and that's it. Server has stopped, no one can join it. If I want to restart or start the server, I just write dot slash start, press enter and server started. And if I go back into a Minecraft, I should be able to join straight away at the place where I left. Uh, so let's go back and join. And loading resources, here we go and I'm back. And because I'm admin, I can do this. Time set 10 a.m. Boom. 10 a.m. Everyone, good morning. Actually, let's do time set 6 a.m. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Time set. Here we go. Anyway, Minecraft server on the Proxmox server. That is super easy and fast to set up. By pocketmine.net um, server. All the things you need, you'll find in the description below. This was the, I can't remember which one, Proxmox and the Samsung Dex episode four, maybe five. And that's it. I will see you in another one. Goodbye.